Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can create the slow shutter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Usually this effect is done in camera, but today I'm going to show you how you can do it in a video editor like Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, if you don't want to follow this tutorial or if you want to find a faster way to do this effect, you guys can check the link in the description for a preset. It's currently on sale, so make sure to check that out. Also, if you are a student or a teacher, you can get over 60% off Adobe Creative Cloud if you check the link in the description. So right here, I have a clip from Rap Star by Polo G. So you can see the effect works perfectly in this video for a couple of reasons. The background and the clip are quite dark. And the reason why you want a dark video is when you add an echo effect or some sort of trail effect, you're basically duplicating the video a bunch of times. You're multiplying the amount of contrast, highlights, color, and brightness that come from the clips. So for example, right here, I have echo and there's five echoes. So there's essentially five different clips. So if I zoom in right here, you can see there's like five versions of him right here. So that's why you wanna find a video that is darker. Also, you want to find a video where there's some sort of motion so that the trail effect is actually strong. So I'm going to break this tutorial down into three. So I'm going to delete all these effects right now and we're going to go over to transform. So this is first adding handheld motion. First, you want to uncheck this and then increase the shutter angle to 360. But what we're really going to be using right here is the position and scale. So first, you want to go to the beginning and press scale and you want to scale in a little bit. And the reason why is because we're going to be adjusting the position and it gives you a little bit more leeway to go left and right like this. If it was 100 and you went like right, there's like black bars on the side. So we just want to scale in our video a little bit. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the position every few frames. So I'm going to set a keyframe for position where it currently is. And then every few frames, we're going to just move it left or right or up and down. Just make sure that the black bars don't show. And you want to make sure that the subject is in the frame, like in the middle, sort of as best as you can. So you can see here what I'm doing. And this just gives additional movement. This clip already has movement, but we just add a little bit more. So you can hear this is super smooth right here. But if we add transform, it'll actually help when we add the ghosting effect. So that's it for the first step. Just add very basic transform keyframes. Now we're going to add posterize, which will basically help create the lag effect. So we're going to drag it on here. It's posterize time. And you want to drag it on top of transform. And right here, we're going to set it at eight. I feel like anywhere from six to 10 is ideal. So you can see how this looks like. Now it's laggy and it has that little shake to it. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add echo. And then you want to move this on top of all the different effects that you added before. Naturally, echo gets brighter for the reasons I mentioned before. So if you were to make it five, it would be much brighter, right? So to offset this, you want to set the decay as 0.7. And then you want to go over to Lumetri Color, go to Curves, and just bring it down a little. Also, decrease the contrast, highlights, exposure a little bit. That way, it's a little bit more like how it used to be. So if we hide Lumetri Color, you guys can see the difference. Now he isn't overexposed. And also, now you want to set the echo time to around 0.7 to 1. So I'm going to do 1 so that it's a stronger effect. That's about it besides the echo operator, which will slightly change how the echo looks like. I personally like the add option because you can see in the other options, the brighter portions of the video are not emphasized. And so that's about it. I'm going to render it in and out so you guys can see how it looks like. So now you can see how it looks like. And that's basically the effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also check out the link in the description if you want to get this preset for 50% off right now. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.